<clears throat> this is going to be a quick mock-up of 091 Weddle main shaft assembly. You got their racing gears, floating hubs. Um, these are uh, floating hubs for 091 synchros. I think those do get better shifting. You do kind of maintain the 091 3 4 clips, which have um, their problems, but the 091 synchros are stronger. Um, and I think especially the 091 slider with the 091 clips, um, it shifts shifts better. Um, because of the shoulder here, you can't obviously drop a bearing on. You do have to be careful when you order your bearings to pay attention to the bearing IDs. Um, these are the larger 40 millimeter bores, so the rollers are quite a bit bigger than stock. Um, <clears throat> so you're going to put your two-piece bearing on. It's going to be a little fiddle-faddle with that. Um, when you are taking this apart, you're going to have to start getting in the habit of bringing your hand up, otherwise your two-piece bearings are going to hit the floor. So you're just going to put that on. Um, here's the pre-assembled hub assembly I have. There's a little groove this side of the slider that tells you that's fourth gear side. Let's see if we can't put that up there. So one thing that's kind of neat, this is a Weddell hub. just goes on you don't have to press if this was stock there'd be a clip where that cast in shoulder was and you'd have to press this on typically on a stock setup the thrust is going to take it towards the fourth gear side so when you test your end play on a stock one where you put the clip here I take the extra time to push third up into the clip bottom it out then measure your fourth gear end clearance because um, third will always be getting pushed away but I can just hold it forward with my hand right now and then you can get your feeler gauges between second and third and make sure your clearance is where you want um, now once you do the fourth gear side so let's just drop that on won't be able to drop all this on um, okay that does slide this one's definitely a press fit um, I usually just heat this up and drop it on all the way but the trick here is with fourth you're gonna put that on and then if we had that little hub in position you take a straight edge and it'll sit on this and then you can measure your, your gap real easy that way um, the nice thing about with this aftermarket setup like this is I mean once I know my third gear side is fine I, I go ahead and I'll, I'll put this on because if I have to mess with fourth gear in clearance, it's just taking this on and off by hand. I don't have to mess with the clips or the hubs or anything. So that's, that's one thing you can get away with on you know, multiples of the main shafts. But I do recommend, um, it's a lot easier to, um, to check your end clearance without the synchros on. Um, the synchros can they're, they're going to burnish in at first, and so it's going to make it read a little smaller. Um, but just kind of keep in mind, main shaft thrust directions this way. Um, if we bring the pinion shaft here, and when I'm doing the pinion shaft, I like to push the one-two hub down and lock it in forward that way, because first has a big problem with... Um, burning up if it doesn't have enough clearance and it generally should be the one with the most clearance um, when you're setting these up at least 10 thou um, I usually just shoot for around 10 thousands on stock aftermarket you can see a little bit bigger numbers as well as 
making oddball combinations. Um, but make sure that hub's all the way down forward because eventually second's going to push it that way and stuff. And so what happens if you, if you barely put the hub on and you have 10 thousandths, then eventually hard acceleration in second's going to move that hub down. And then you're not going to have enough clearance. You're going to burn up first. And that's kind of what happens on the... Um, the 002 main shafts with the clips is the first version of that clipped hub the factory left quite a bit of clearance between the hub and the clips and so when you press that hub on all the way to third and then you measure your fourth gear in clearance is barely in spec it changes to nothing at all when third gear its thrust load is going to push everything off um, and stuff so just the little things to pay attention to um, and just kind of showing you just kind of the neat assembly ease um, when you do get into the Weddle stuff it does assemble easier than the stock components um, I do I think I am starting to really prefer the 091 keys here even though the keys become the weak link um, Think you get a better shift quality. Um, someday it might be interesting to try the 002 version hub and um, I haven't researched it enough to know if the 002 slider could be uh, ran with the 002 keys in 091 um, just so it immediately starts pushing those keys otherwise the 091 slider has a lot wider cutout so you get a lot of sloppiness it doesn't have a very clean neutral feeling the slider kind of pops around or this one you can tell the slider wants to stay right where it's at because the keys are the same groove you know the fork would hold it still but still I it feels a little better on the bench I, I, I'd assume even driving uh, with the 091's keys in there